This video shows a case study of applying BioIn to assess the feasibility of accepting new loads at a wastewater treatment plant. Let's look at the application of BioIn to a wastewater treatment plant in southern Ontario, Canada. This plant is a conventional activated sludge process incorporating nitrification, chemical phosphorus removal, and sludge processing. The stage 1 nominal rated capacity of the plant is 56.8 megaliters per day. The plant receives an influent wastewater of typical strength and composition. It has consistently met its effluent requirements, which include BOD, TSS, and year-round nitrification requirements. The goal of this project was to explore the feasibility of accepting additional flow and load from an industrial service area. The amount of flow was not large relative to the overall plant flow, but the high strength of the industrial wastewater meant that the load it contributed would be of significance. A secondary goal was to explore potential impacts of return streams from a newly commissioned solids dewatering facility at the plant. The approach used was to set up a bioin model of the treatment process. Some aspects of the bioin model used for the scenario analysis include Several bioreactors in series were used to represent the plug flow aeration tanks. Different numbers were used for each train due to differences in train geometry. A flow splitting element was used to regulate how much industrial area flow was accepted under different modeling scenarios. Alum was added upstream of the secondary clarifiers for phosphorus precipitation. Variable volume bioreactors were used to represent the digested sludge holding tank and centrate equalization tank. After setting up the bioin flow sheet and incorporating all operational aspects, the model was calibrated to one year of time varying performance data. In order to accomplish this, a supplemental plant sampling campaign was conducted to augment the existing dataset. Minor adjustments were made until the model predictions matched the observed plant responses for a variety of parameters. For example, here we see the predicted mixed liquor suspended solids concentrations as a solid line and the observed value shown as points. Once the model was calibrated and predictive of the plant behavior, it was applied to a number of what-if scenarios to explore the plant's performance if it accepted all or part of the additional industrial load. This analysis considered both current and several projected future flows. The ability of the new solids handling facility to process the required amount of solids was assessed, and operational aspects, such as when centrate was returned to the main process, were explored. In conducting these analyses, several operational constraints, such as the centrate equalization tank volume, were monitored in BioIn. Also, key performance indicators were noted, including effluent ammonia levels and secondary clarifier solids loading rates. Based on the BioIn analysis, it was concluded that all of the industrial flow could be treated, thereby freeing up capacity at other site-constrained plants. The model analysis also provided guidance for future capital improvements required at the plant. For example, Acceptance of the industrial flow meant that anaerobic digester capacity would require upgrading sooner than anticipated. Also, the analysis suggested that further into the future, secondary clarifier capacity could become limiting and hence require upgrading. This analysis allowed the utility to gain maximum benefit from its existing infrastructure, aided in the capital planning at other plants, and identified a future upgrade path at this plant. In this video, we saw how BioIn can be used to assess the feasibility of accepting new loads at a wastewater treatment plant. Please check our video library for videos on how to use BioIn for other engineering objectives. The library also contains short how-to tutorials that will help you increase your productivity.